Hey, this is Boris from the Revolution Pi team. Today I want to show you something super cool, the new RevPi Connect 4. This is a real industrial powerhorse. It comes with the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4, which means a much faster CPU, up to 8 GB of RAM, and up to 32 GB of built-in eMMC flash memory. That means a lot of new use cases are possible, but I will tell you about the use cases a little bit later. Let's first have a look at the technology. You will recognize the antenna port in the front. The RevPi Connect 4 comes with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on board. It has an internal antenna, but we all know RevPi normally lives in metal switch cabinets, so we need an antenna port to get a signal outside. We talked a lot to you guys in the community, in the forum, we made customer interviews to learn what you want to have. And one of the results were faster USB ports. So we have USB 3.2, which means we can have a very low latency and attach cameras with high resolution, do machine vision, or even expand the memory with industrial grade memory sticks. The second thing is gigabit ethernet with a very low latency. So you can do super fast stuff like connecting drives with CodeSys and EtherCAT, for instance. This is another thing that we added. You may have noticed the RS485 port is gone. No, it's not gone. It's here. We moved it up. Down here is the relay port and there's a digital input as well. So you can use this with one output and one input even without expansion modules. Talking about expansion modules, you can, of course, add all the modules that you know with our beloved PyBridge. And we added two of these. So you can add up to five modules on the left, five modules on the right. That's a lot of inputs. Let me show you how to connect it. Just put it on the DIN rail, put in the PyBridge, and we are ready to go. I promised that we would talk a little bit about use cases. So with a lot of inputs comes a lot of computation that you want to do. Maybe you want to do some number crunching like Fourier transformations on a lot of inputs with co which come with a high frequency, or you want to do something else. Some people like to attach touch screens to our Revolution Pi to have an HMI. The problem always was when you run a browser in full screen that needs a lot of memory. Now we have a lot of memory. So if you use CodeSys or Node-RED to create an HMI for the RevPi, go ahead, you will have a lot of fun. I tried it, it is really cool. The next thing you can do is collect data. If you don't have access to some other systems, you want to collect data locally, in files, in databases, in time series databases, for instance, and with up to 32 gigabytes of eMMC flash memory, you have a lot of storage for that. Of course, I told you there are industrial grade USB ports and there you can just attach more memory to enhance even the space that you need. Another thing that people love to do with our RevPi is use containers like Docker containers. And um, also for this, you need some space, some compute power. I tried it out, it's a lot of fun. So there's a lot of stuff that you can now do with the RevPi Connect 4. I would say, Buy it, try it out and have fun. Tell us what you think. And yeah, I think I will do some more videos and tell you about more use cases and even show you how it's done. I love it and we made it for you. Have fun, goodbye.